Sunday social. Once I drank the moon and it was bittersweet. Nectar of honey with a tinge of defeat. Once I ate the stars, they tasted like the air. Sealed empty as if they weren't there. Once I drank the moon, once I drank the moon. experiment. This is all our experiment. I'm here with my friend Ray Dillard. We have a few tunes, original tunes to play for you. This is where the dreamers go. fallen asleep yet to the sweet lullabies of Ray Dillard and his goat he hooves 
All right, let's kick it up, all right? But do I need to slow it down a bit, Sally? I'm not gonna vamp into Mustang Sally. Everyone in Barry wants to hear that song, but I refuse. Let's make breakfast, but not include peppers. Let's make lunch and avoid onions. Let's make dinner, but not eat any meat. Cause you don't like it You don't like any of it But you like me Let's go on a trip Don't worry, we won't fly A short vacation But you don't want to drive And you don't want to hitch because of all of those scary stories You dislike most things But you like me You like me So I'll make breakfast And avoid onions I'll make dinner Cook a juicy steak and I'll go on a trip Send you a postcard Cause I think I like you I kinda think I love you And you might love me too Love me too Love me too Sometimes with the word you can play any last note and you can mostly get away with it. It's just <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I'm really low notes. For, uh, yeah, I, I, those really low notes. I love those really low notes. Really, really. No this, this. If you can see this part of me, what I'm playing right now, I am playing my Wurlitzer, and this was passed down to me from my father, Mark Rutherford, and my dad. Uh, gave me a Wurlitzer as a gift when I moved to Toronto. And I lived at 745 Bloor Street West, apartment number seven, with my friend Brett. And Brett taught me a lot of things. Patient, he was very patient with me. I talked to him as a phone a friend once. We should do phone a friend again. <laughs> sure. But but uh, but this Wurlitzer. Oh, yeah, would be fun. Yeah, it'd be really fun. This Wurlitzer. Uh, uh, the world that's really inspired most of my, almost all of my songs. And in fact, my entire album that's being released in February, February 2022. Two. 22. Uh, it's, I shouldn't be, I'm going to spill the beans. It's all whirly. It's all whirly. Yes, I do. Is that okay to spill the beans? Or does sure, that ruin the magic? Sure. Yeah, I don't know. They still won't imagine how cool it is yeah, until it's so, they hear it. It's so great. And, and my wonderful friend, Ray Dillard, who's beside me today, um, I'm very fortunate to have with me. He, uh, he is the dynamo behind the beautiful way it sounds. Well, that and, and our technical director, Bryn, Bryn. rebuilt certain oh, aspects of it. Yes. You know. Most of the guts, Bryn. Bryn, do you have your mic on? Guts. Most of the, tell, tell, us, tell, tell, me, tell them a little bit about this, Whirly. For the, for the keyboard, next, people on Twitch especially, I don't yeah, know if yeah, we're on they Twitch, need to know. they want to know about what I'm playing right now. Come on, Bryn, tell so, us some stories. So it's a 1968 Wurlitzer 146, which is a student piano. And uh, then it was brought back into, uh, then it was brought back into uh, just being a standard Wurlitzer, complete with a tremolo, because that was deleted for the student pianos. Yeah, so he, he basically was a wizard and uh, and 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 made, and re resuscitated this with a. I needed some res massive resuscitation, uh, but but I feel very fortunate to have it in my life. It's been a wonderful, wonderful thing for me. Thing, wonderful piece of piece of beauty for me. 
Sadie, Rosella, and Willow Joy were born before their time. One a lipstick dynamo, the other with a poet's soul, born before their time. Sadie was a speed skater, a fashion maven baseball player, fell in love, fell out of love, fell in love, fell out of love, fell in love, fell out of love, fell in love, fell out of love. She fell in love quite easily, but don't you tell Sadie what to do. Willow, during World War II, wrote a song Played on CBC, married a charming man, raised six boys, then left him. He fell in love, fell out of love, fell in love, fell out of love. He fell in love, and when she left, she never drank again. Thirty years on, they met up, and this is. Great father, you were a great father, you were a great father and one hell of a husband. anywhere with you. I'd go anywhere with you, my friend. Well, most places. <laughs> well, where do we want to go next? Well, I think that I need to confess something to you. I need to confess, because this is my therapy oh. session every week. I, I, I really, I never thought a year and a half ago that I would ever be doing this. And I, especially, I can't even, couldn't even imagine playing with my wonderful friend, Ray Dillard. Um, it's just been a delightful thing for us, me during this time. And, uh, to and I need to tell you something, Ray. I, I kind of was almost spilling the beans earlier on. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I'm at war with a bird. Oh, no. A bird? I'm at war with a bird. So we have a, a, an above-ground pool, which came with our house. And, and if you're considering getting a pool, during COVID, they're really great. But besides that, if you're close to a lake, don't do it. <laughs> they're, a, they're a big hassle. I'm, I'm looking at the Blackberry right now. Is that the right one to be looking at? Because I want to, I want to connect with Ray and my friends out here, and so we have we have a, a grackle, a mama grackle, and one day I realized there's a lot of bird poo in our uh, feces. Better word, more technical. Bird shit, you mean? <laughs> yeah, for, that's for the evening show. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> poo, <laughs> poo. <laughs> in our in our pool, and 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 the other day, I'm outside drinking my morning coffee, much like right now. It's afternoon, and this is not a good idea, but cheers anyways. Um, drinking it, and all of a sudden I see this grackle, and it threw something in the pool, in its beak. And then I realized it's throwing its nest's feces in our pool. So I've been cleaning it out every morning, and an hour later, there, are, there is a pile of grackle leftovers Le on... <laughs> In and on my pool. It's a very clean, it's a clean, a clean freak bird. I guess it's cleaning its nest for the babies and picking, I didn't know they did this, but they pick mm. it out and they, he's been throw, she's been throwing it in my pool. You could say she's been removing the L from your pool. <laughs> it's true. It's just poo now. <laughs> and with this story in mind, 
It's a very serious story. I have to sing you a very serious song about a different kind of bird. Sometimes in life, you've got to fame a broken wing. Sometimes in life, you've got to fame a broken wing. Well, just like my mama before me, just like my daddy too. Sometimes in life, you've got to fame a broken wing. Sometimes in life, you've got to push them out of the nest. Sometimes in life, you've got to push them out of the nest. Well, just like my mama before me, just like my dad. Sometimes in life, you've got to push them out of the nest. Sometimes in life, you've got to feign a broken wing. Sometimes in life, you've got to feign a broken wing. Well, like my mama before me just like my daddy too sometimes in life you've got a fame a broken wing <laughs> i felt it i felt it it's right here ray yeah, yeah. it's great yeah Great. Uh-oh. Are we ready for this one? Are we ready for this? Are you, are you, question is, Ray, are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> uh, Just a yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, are you ready for this, Elvis? Elvis is out right now. He had surgery, but we'll talk about that later. I would forgive my fr pretend pr was broken goat if it gave me warm eyes. I would forgive, I would forget if it's not his fault he carries this parasite. It's not his fault, it's not his fault. No matter what, think he can. dream we do yoga together he stands on my back during downward dog he might have an accident he'll be relaxed he's not alone no matter what binky can't do wrong binky can't do wrong binky binky no matter what binky can't do wrong binky can't do wrong binky binky those aren't raisins on the floor binky Promise next week we won't be doing that one <laughs> because it's a very special show next week. Yeah. 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 I think so. I think so. I think Is it's it this is the first, I think it's next week, isn't it? Wow. I guess it is, isn't it? I what, think. What's it, the date? It's like the 14th? The 14th. Yeah. Ray, I'm going to let you take this over right now. Talk about what's mm -hmm. going on. Well, this uh, show is going to modulate into a bigger thing than normal because we're going to incorporate the summer solstice event that I do every year. 
which for the second summer is going to be an online event, much like this, except the feature artist of the show is Cassandra Rutherford, along with some video uh, pieces that my group JMR Abstract has done, and some video pieces my friend James Metcalf, part of JMR Abstract, has done, and a special video by a student of mine, Lucas Martin, who will, uh, it'll be a premiere of this video that he's made specifically for the show. And there's rumors that there's maybe even some new Cassandra tunes for the show. Yeah, there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I, I have. So it'll be a combination of live performance uh, with the two of us. Uh, I might end up doing a solo. And then some really interesting videos that have been prepared over the last, uh, some of them, eight months and some of them quite recent, like Lucas's film is quite recent that he's done. So that will be a very interesting second virtual <laughs> version of the second of the summer solstice events, annual summer solstice. I'm excited by the, the, the virtual, I wonder if, if when everything is opening up again, whether you'll continue doing a virtual side to it. No. No, <laughs> no. No, because uh, the, the, a live event is such a different thing because we literally go from dusk till dawn. Right. So I'll want to return if I can if I can return to that format for the live version. That's what I'll do. But otherwise, uh, you know, we the winter might very well always end up being virtual because mm -hmm. when I did the real one in my basement, it was very limited in how many people right. I could have. So I might keep the winter one a virtual solstice concert. Mm -hmm. But the summer, I would really love to see go big again and become a dust till dawn, all night music extravaganza. Yeah. Right. But who knows? Who knows what will happen? So it's happening to, uh, next Sunday at 7 p.m. And right. hopefully if the weather is nice, it will be outside, it, outside here. Now, we can reserve for a few people to, yeah. Hang, yeah, to hang out yeah. um, in a distanced way, safe and distanced, um, because it's just in our own, you can be hang out on our boulevard and bring, bring bug spray. <laughs> or something. Yeah, or caterpillar repellent or something. <laughs> Wear hats. We've been wearing lots of hats recently. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really, I'm very honored to be playing it. Well, it's great that you're willing to let, let this become, oh. your, your weekly show become my annual summer solstice event for this particular year. It's great. I'm well, very thank excited. Well, thank you for asking me. I'm okay. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. That's like too, uh, let's not get too emotional. Black and white aren't absolute When they dance they dilute To shades of grey Shades of grey And me on the cacophony A hydra who sings kinda sweet But not today No, not today Cause it's Greatest day of the year. The greatest day of the year. And I'm feeling numb and not much fun. How do you hope the greatest day? Oh, the greatest. 
best day of the year. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's that Ray and Cassandra show. I picture that with dancing girls and boys. It's not, that's not be exclusive. And a single camel walking slowly across the, the stage. And Hang, to meet its beloved single llama. Mid, if, mid stage. Mid stage. Yeah. 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 And then somehow we limp, like, get them to lip sync. <laughs> they sing? For the bridge. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 Life is very serious, but when it's not, you have to embrace it because it's really not that bad or serious. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Oh, All right. Glasses are coming off. Glasses Hold are coming because we mean business. <laughs> there, I, I'm pulling out some classic tunes, classic, classic songs that I wrote on this, on this instrument. Gosh, I can't wait till the dream team can get back together, eh? Willa Rutherford? wherever you may be.
this would be a great time to say that if you're just if you're just coming out here, um, this is Ray Dillard, Brynapp's the technical director. This has been a very short set for me. Feels very short. Feels very short. Yeah. I have like one tune left. It's not enough. It's not enough. Willow, I hear you're hanging out with us today. Hi, Willow. Hi, Willow. We miss, we miss you. you very much. We, the dream team. You're the. It's the whole. It's the Trinity. We miss you very much, Willow. Yeah. No, never pressure. I know you're busy these days, but yeah. we can build another wall. We don't need no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, everybody. No don't leave us. <laughs> If you don't know Willow's my sister, she's a songbird. She is a fearless artist of all sorts. And I miss her very much playing music with her. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to play the first song I ever wrote. And uh, then I might play another one after that. But this is technically our last tune. If you have a request, Figure it out. If we add something, that's great. Yeah. But just do it. Just, Don't worry. All right. Okay. Uh, I, this is, uh, there's a ticker if you'd like to uh, contribute to the band. We always appreciate that because it's a weird time to be an artist. Things are kind of opening up. People are announcing tour dates right now, and that's exciting. But uh, no one's playing yet around here. So. It's my good luck day, my day, come what may. After such a sleepless night, the sun shines so, so bright. It's my good luck day, my day, come what may. And don't forget to bring over Mama's diamond ring, cause then we'll be Good luck day, our day, come what may, where the ground that we walk over is full of four-leaf clovers, but maybe someday, one day soon, my luck will run out, I'll have a day of bloom, a day made up of scabies. of PMS ringworms and despair accidentally I'll step on a crack and unintentionally break mama's back but until then it's fine good luck of me just think of lucky you who, who could be <laughs> this is a very serious profession very and and uh Yeah, I'm going to end with the one that I played last week. I know I don't. I, 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 I just feel like it because we were talking about allergies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know? It's a bit of a weird one to end on, but it, life's a bit weird right now. And Fair it, enough. And, and if you're not feeling weird, that's okay. I'm sure you're not a, alone, but I'm feeling mighty weird right now. It's a tough time. Yeah. I'm going to be on the phone tomorrow morning. As soon as I can, or the inter internet. I guess you don't use the phone. I feel, I feel like I'm... The interweb, yeah. The interweb. Yeah. And I'm going to be booking my, my second shot. I'm super excited about it, for that. Yep, me too. I don't like snow, you know, unless it's melting. But I would walk with you. I 
my black and blue dove again I don't like spring unless the birds are winging but not too close because of to play that one again you know okay. I just want to play that one that's fine this is the last tune and uh Brandon prepare to have your mic on but try to limit the feedback <laughs> <laughs> which kind of feedback uh, well I don't know don't limit the feedback actually oh. I need your feedback <laughs> oh okay <laughs> all right uh, this is our last tune. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, next week at 7 o'clock, it's a very special uh, summer solstice show. Ray is directing, and it's going to be fantastic, and I'll be playing some songs, and there's going to be some incredible video, and hopefully a uh, tune or two by Ray Dillard himself. You just never know. No pressure. <laughs> no, you don't feel pressure. You're fine. <laughs> okay, my name is Cassandra Rutherford. This is our last tune, and uh, have a safe, safe week. We can't wait to see you. Wait to see you next week. It's going to be so great. You know what's just happened? No. <laughs> uh, I'm getting confused with the greatest day. They're kind of similar. We already did that. We did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and good luck to Notice she hasn't named this song. So no, no. I don't know either. Okay, no. just to put you and uh, I it, on the same So this is page. the last tune, and the thing with live is it's great because it's r it's real, it's gritty, and you can see that we're all only human after all. Only human after all. It's like a song, a song my kids like. <laughs> uh, I usually end up. The one. Not that one. Not that one? Not that one. No, it's. I'm getting. Okay. I have a. Oh! The reason I got it messed up is because of this first line. On the grayest day, when you're anchored to your bed, those voices, voices are trying to make you drown. Appears to have escaped. Hold on to what I tell you now. You are loved. No matter what you do, you are loved. No matter what you say, you are loved. No. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. And on those nights when you feel so alone, comparing yourself to others on their filtered phones, don't despair, I've got your back. Hold on tight and I'll give you a snack. Cause you are loved, no matter what you say. You are loved no matter how you do. You are not loved no matter how you feel. 
You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. But maybe you've a looming secret, but hold on to this. Sometimes the hard stuff is truly a gift. Cause you are loved, no matter what you say. You are loved, no matter what you do. You are loved, no matter how you feel. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. Okay, Ray? Yeah? This is all good and fine, it's all peachy keen sounding. But what if I tear down those obnoxious Save Riverwood Park signs at the end of my street? Oh, you're still loved. You are loved, no matter what you say. Okay, but uh, Bryn, what if I... What if I lie under oath? Yeah, I think you're still loved, yeah. You are loved, no matter what you do. Okay, Cassandra. But what if I know the world is out to get me? Well, Cassandra, the truth is you are loved no matter how you feel. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. You are loved, you are loved by someone somewhere for sure. You are loved. Have a great week. I am Cassandra Rutherford. This is Ray Dillard. Bryn Up is the technical director, and we cannot wait to see you next week at, on the 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Absolutely. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Stay safe.